Hi, my name is Eitan Schwartz uh, from Rare Data Communications. Um, I'd like to introduce a new product from Rare. It's the ETX 5300A. It's a product that's optimized for mobile backhaul, particularly Ethernet aggregation. Um, it does have the hardware OEM. It has the support for various topologies, such as ring support, GAD32 version 2, but also very powerful traffic management that's very important in the backhaul uh, arena. Also important is it does support a TDM pseudo wire. So you could have a situation of base stations with carrier Ethernet being carried from the base stations to an aggregation box like this. This device being able to aggregate with 80 gig e ports and 16 10 gig e ports and 16 channelized OC3 ports. So it can aggregate all the traffic. And then it also has some other unique capabilities. It's a, it's a Grandmaster, 1588 Grandmaster, so it can take care of all the timing requirements. Uh, it has the built-in pseudo wire. So in addition to supporting 4G LTE type applications, it can also support the 2G and 3G type applications. And in that way, it works very well with our demarcation device that is optimized for mobile backhaul as well with environmentally hardened, with carrier Ethernet and pseudo wire. Again, hardware OAM, built-in circuit validation capabilities, things like RFC 2544 support. And then very importantly, powerful traffic management to deal with some of the issues that we're seeing issues with TCP IP bursts and so on that are, that are, that are a problem in some LTE environments. How does it fit in with the other box here? So what you could see is um, a, a, a product like this, a, a carrier Ethernet demarcation device, um, could be sitting at the cell tower, could take in traffic from one or more base stations, and then this device would interoperate with the central site box they would both support hardware OAM so that you could do performance monitoring, latency, jitter, packet loss. It could also pick up timing so the central box can be a grandmaster using 1588 and this device could then synchronize with that, uh, acting as a 1588 slave and also having sync E and timing interfaces. And then finally where you have 2G, 3G, this can also come with 481 interfaces and allow you to support the legacy interfaces. I think also important is this is not only for mobile backhaul, it could also be for Ethernet aggregation in a retail environment because again it has a lot of Ethernet ports, up to 80, and a lot of 10 gig ports. I think some of the strengths here is that it's built from the ground up as a carrier Ethernet product and so it's got the latest most powerful technology to achieve that and um, its price point is very very good. So you'll probably find it at approximately a tenth of the price of some of the big solutions out there that don't even offer all these carrier Ethernet capabilities.